the 18 questions Democrats should be asked in their primary debate this week. Number one, to Joe Biden. Did your son profit off your position as vice president in his business deals with China and the Ukraine? How can the American people have confidence that your policy positions towards China didn't change after your son signed a $1.5 billion equity deal with a company tied to the Chinese Communist Party? And then your stances on the South China Sea and trade issues softened. Do you believe this is appropriate behavior for the family of elected officials? Number two to Bernie Sanders, do you stand by or do you disavow your praise of the communist Castro regime in Cuba? Do you stand by the article you posted on your official Senate website, which says Venezuela is living the American dream better than the US? And do you stand by your visit on your honeymoon to socialist Russia? Number three to Elizabeth Warren, when did you realize you were not Native American? And if there was no benefit to identifying as Cherokee, why did you self-identify as a minority woman? Number four, to Pete Buttigieg, since 81% of the American people believe that late-term abortion should be illegal, how can you support keeping late-term abortion legal in contradiction to the majority of the country and still call yourself a moderate? Number five, to Kirsten Gillibrand, you said opposing abortion is an unacceptable viewpoint. You compared pro-lifers to racists. Do you believe pro-lifers and Christians who are pro-life are racist? Number six, this one's to all the candidates. Who is your favorite president and why? Then if they answer JFK, follow up and ask how they can justify JFK's horrible morals. If they say FDR, follow up and ask how they can justify his Japanese internment camps. If they say Obama, ask how they can justify his opposition to gay marriage. Number seven, on taxes, what's fair? What's a fair percentage of taxes for any person to pay? Number eight on immigration, how many immigrants should we allow into our country? How many is too many? Is there any circumstance you think it's okay for illegals to vote? Do you support the deportation of criminal aliens? Number nine on life, do you dispute the science and our government that says human life begins at conception? Would you acknowledge that abortion is a tragedy that ends a life even if you believe it should be legal? Number 10 on education, do you support school choice? If not, what do you say to black Americans who do support school choice? Do you support kindergartners being taught about transgenderism? Number 11 on entitlements, what do you plan to do to prevent Medicare and Social Security from going bankrupt? Number 12 on socialism, is there any circumstance in which you would nationalize a business or industry? If so, what? What's the difference between democratic socialism and regular old socialism? Do you condemn or do you support socialism? Number 13 on climate change. Do you believe the government should mandate that we eliminate all fossil fuels per the Green New Deal? Number 14 on healthcare. In the UK and Canada, they are experiencing rationing in healthcare due to costs. In the UK, children with cystic fibrosis, for example, are being denied life-saving medication due to cost alone. How do you justify that with wanting to bring a government-run system like that system here? Number 15, on free speech. Do you believe there should be restrictions on free speech for hate speech? Number 16, on gender. How many genders do you think there are? Number 17 on reparations. Every candidate on the stage has said they support reparations. Elizabeth Warren says she supports reparations for gay people too. Do any of you support reparations for women who were denied their right to vote and work and denied equal protection under the law until the last century? Number 18, do you or do you not believe America is the greatest nation the world has ever known? And that is my final point.